Mine no, show, no, no, now no, we're no. live. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. In the house. Oh, my goodness. Gabby, we're waiting on Gabby. Gabby's running late. She's on her way. Yes. She's probably yes. scrambling like a chicken with her head cut off, but she's on her way. She's going she's gonna to make she's it. Coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's going to make it. And she's going to come in and be a breath of fresh air when she does. Exactly. Yes. exactly. So... I am going to introduce today's who is video. You? Who are you? Who are I am, you? I am the, you? I'm the artist you? formerly known as Mandy Glam. <laughs> <laughs> I am now Amanda Marie. And I missed you guys so much. It's been like, what, two or three months since I've been on yes. the live? Yes. Yeah, it's it's been a, we've missed you. Yes. I miss y'all too yes. a lot, Aww. a lot. So... In today's uh, live, we will be talking about some of our fresh, clean fragrances that keep us cool and dry and fresh during the summer months. So that's important right now because I don't know about y'all, but yes. where I'm in Texas, baby, the heat, the heat is undefeated. Okay. It's disrespectful. Just tell it like it is. It's, yeah, it like it's it totally is. disrespectful. I mean, as soon as I hit the front door, it's so humid. I start sweating. By the time I get to my car, I have these tiny little beads of sweat running down my back. And it's just crazy. So for me, I like to wear fragrances that really mesh well with my skin and sweat and stuff like that. Y'all know I don't like to be musty in these streets. Okay. No, that's right. Like, like, that's right, girl. Musty is not one of the uh, fragrance notes that we are <laughs> no. Maybe no, no, must, no, no, must. Yeah. must, must, yeah. but not musty. Musty. Okay. <laughs> not, not, musty not is not bougie. Yes, no. <laughs> not, not armpit. We don't want armpit no. and we don't want musty. Okay. Right, right, so right. We got to keep it fresh. So we're going to be presenting our fragrances in our collections that we feel like are very fresh and very summertime appropriate. So yeah. I'm going to start off with my scent of the day. And for those of you who've been watching my channel for a long time, I found this fragrance in TJ Maxx. And it was kind of like one of those fragrances. I don't know if y'all go through this, but when I'm in TJ Maxx, I see a fragrance and I'm like, uh, no, I'll just get it mm -hmm. next time. I'm not going to worry about it. And yeah. then you go back and it's still there. And you go back and it's still there. And you're like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and buy it and see if I like it. And I love this fragrance, you guys. This is CK Into You Her by Calvin Klein. What? And I absolutely love and adore this fragrance so much, so much. It is so fresh. Let me tell you what this reminds me of. And I wish they would do it so bad. Like, I wish they would make these into those fabric softener balls that you put oh. in your wash. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they, they would sell out so fast. So in this fragrance, there's bergamot in the top. And then in the middle, there's like a green leafy note mm -hmm. um, in the fragrance. And I forget what that leaf is called, but in the base, you have some vanilla and you have some cedar notes. So it does, like I said, it, the bergamot, y'all know, kind of comes off like a citrusy type of smell. And then you get that green leafy note, which I feel like gives it the freshness that we're talking mm -hmm. about. And the vanilla is like, it's there. It's not overpowering. It's not like a very overpowering, sweet type of vanilla. Mm -hmm. But you can smell it that it's there. And the cedar is kind of what I feel like makes it a little bit on the masculine side. I feel like this is totally a unisex fragrance. I already sprayed some on, but I'm spraying some on. But uh, yeah, this is a total, totally unisex fragrance. I feel like even though this is CK into you, her, like your man could totally wear this too. Mm -hmm. It is just a, a really fresh, sexy fragrance that one of those Keytra out of the shower fragrances, mm -hmm. this one right here, this one right here. So I've been really, really loving this fragrance a lot. So this is CK Into You Her by Calvin Klein. Yay. Ooh. The of the day. Calvin fragrances are, they are clean and fresh like that. Like mm -hmm. 
seems like every Calvin Klein fragrance I pick up, that's what it smells like. It just smells like clean and fresh out of the shower, refreshing. And sometimes that's what you're looking for. Yes, so, yes. hey, booze, how are you ladies doing? And guys, everybody, beautiful. welcome to the Divas. We are here to cool everybody off because, you know, it's hot. It's hot. Yes, and, it is. Um, my fragrance of the day, I started out going in a different direction and I was going to go with my go-to. I done put her away and moved her to the side because I was like, no, I'm not feeling that. Um, so I was going to start with Delina LaRose, but um, I'm trying something new and I have been playing with her. So we are going to bring a little champagne to the table. And this is the new Tiffany and Co. The Rose Gold. Um, mm. Let me tell you, this fragrance right here, this is Good. It has notes of black currant, there's blue rose, and there's amber seed in it. All I can tell you is that it smells like fruity champagne. Like fruity, soft, like you just had, like you're sitting up on the rooftop or something, and they bring you a nice little cup of bubbly, fruity champagne. That's what mm. it smells like. It's fresh and it's inviting. And so, of course, when I went out and I purchased it when it came out, I sprayed down in it the day that I that I got it. Y'all, let me tell you, talk about compliment magnet. And it was hot in Texas. It was hot in Dallas. And this right mm -hmm. here, oh my God, she was giving the people life. Tiffany Blue, this rose gold, let me tell you, y'all have got to get your hands on it. Sniff it, smell it. You're going to be able to add it into your collection. It's going to be a good signature scent. But like I said, I haven't had a whole lot of time to really just play with her, but I felt like getting my whole entire life today. So this is going to be my scent of the day, which is the Tiffany & Co. Rose Gold. And it was a gift from my husband and from my son. Ooh. My son is home for a week before he goes back to college. I just thought I would bless them with the gift <laughs> that they gave <heard> me. <laughs> wow. wow. I, I want to smell that. I want to get oh. my nose on that. Oh, my God. Girl, you are going to love it. When I say you're going to love it, you're going to love it. This right here is a mass appealing. Anybody, if you if you love smelling like bougie champagne, this is it. Bougie, yeah. clean, fresh. Like you could put this on with a white shirt, button down. Girl, oh my God, it's Gabby. Okay, so <laughs> but but you can only find that in the boutique, right? That's what you said. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. So it is there uh, now, and they also have a matching um, body cream, and you know I'm a body cream junkie, and they have a hand cream that you can put in your purse. So okay. it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Good. Okay, I'm going to smell that. Hey, Gabby. Hello, Gabrielle. Hey, Gabby. Yes, glad you made it, Gabby. Hey, everyone in the chat. Please don't forget to subscribe to all the ladies on the panel and give this live a thumbs up. And my scent of the day is Christian Dior. Ooh. Jador Enjoy. Yes, because mm. I've dropped it so many times. Now, this came out in 2017. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I already got it on me. I got to spray the motor. <laughs> This smells when you first spray it, it smells it smells salty. So it's salty, fruity, and and floral. So you got your sea salt, you definitely got your jasmine, and you got that tuberose and peach in this. This is gorgeous, y'all. Jador, enjoy. Oh day. I bet yeah. you're gonna enjoy that for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. I bet so. So mine is not fresh and clean because I am just trying this out because I did a video on it that went up this morning and I'm still wearing it. Yeah. But Johnny bought me this. Yeah. Oh, I love him so beautiful. much. He's just oh. so gift giving. And so he got me Louis Vuitton, Louis Croc from Christian Louis Vuitton, and it's I'm, I'm just loving it. I can't get enough. I know it's the wrong time of the year for, for you people that wear fragrances seasonally. It's definitely mm -hmm. not the right time of the year for this. 
but mm. I have the air conditioning turned down and it's nice and cool today. So why not? It smells so good. It smells so good, but it's good. And this thing is, like I said, I didn't say that. I said it on the video. This is probably the heaviest fragrance I have in my collection. It's oh. heavy. And I mean, oh, it's heavy. 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 You, yeah. Yeah, they are. Heavy. Well, you, you know, do, crocodiles you weigh a ton. Crocodiles, <laughs> they be happy. Yeah, crocodiles, <laughs> yes. yeah. And, and but not just I don't know if you can see it. It's just that all of them are heavy. <laughs> yeah, each of the little claws, the toenails, are painted in that Christian Louis Vuitton Stop. red. Really, and, and all the way around, the toenails are painted in the red. Mm, Is that not cute? cute? So yeah. cute, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm wearing, wild. and I love it. Gorgeous. What a gift! This is what he got me for my birthday. My son did for my birthday, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm loving this bottle, and I'm loving the fragrance. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, that's awesome. what's your birthday? So what, what does it smell it's like? Not. What are the notes? Where was your my birthday? birthday? Is the end of the end of August, Cassandra? <laughs> oh, I thought it was when I was like mine. That was sad. Yeah. yeah. So weird. <laughs> it's it's it got. Mirror, mirror and sandalwood and some kind of like a cypriot oil and that's it it's okay. a trifecta but it's so good mm -hmm. and it's deep and it's woody and it's warm and it's it's good it's really good i love the fragrance that's in here i love it i love it you know what i wished i wish they would have um launched that that kit that they have of all of them in there like they're miniatures in one kit in one kit and you get all of them if mm -hmm. i could have experienced that i would have done that i would have went that route versus the route that yeah. i went yeah yeah for but sure but they smell good, good. Yeah. and the bottles are hi gabby we oh, missed gabby. you hey, gabby. <sighs> we can't hear you volume no. we can't hear you <laughs> It's trying. Oh, there you go. Oh, Try it. It's there you are. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. You got something oh. in that way. What is that? <laughs> okay. Can you? Oh. Now we're good. Right down. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Right. I've, I've, I've got it off the, um, right. Okay, ladies. So I'm sorry, so sorry. I'm I'm late to the game. I'm really, really sorry. Um, let it's me okay. just, oh, hold on a moment. You just carry on. It's fine. Carry on. <laughs> you just carry oh, on. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, it's okay. And you can we see my this. Too. You're beautiful in whatever angle that you're putting yourself in situation-wise right now. <laughs> see the technical difficulties. Can you see me? Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Good. Yeah. Right. Okay, ladies. I'm so so sorry. I've been late. I was at work, so I've literally Girl. just walked in the door. So my sense of the day. Thank you for being patient with me. My scent of the day, I, I, it's not a fresh one because I don't do fresh, as you know. It's like fresh scents. You know. So I'm doing my signature. I'm doing my signature scent. I'm doing Midnight Poison, which I've worn today, and I'm just going to spray another spritz. So, yeah, I know it's a discontinued scent, but um, I love it. And it's orange, rose, patchouli, um, amber, vanilla, um, it's a real deep, dark, gothic rose. Hi, Latonya. Hi, Kia. Um, so, yeah, so I absolutely love it. And it's a 100 ml and um, strong sillage, huge bomb. So I don't know if anybody has tried it, but, um, yeah, so that's my scent of the day. I love that. I've, I've put my nose on it. I like the other oh, one in the, in the the white bottle. That Pure plate. Yes, I like that one. I smelled yes, it not too long ago at the floor. I like that one a lot. Okay, so my next freshie is now this one I've been struggling with for a while. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep it around because a lot of uh, subscribers have told me that I need to layer it with something. 
and it does better but i don't know I, i'm not really into layering my fragrances because mm -hmm. i i want that fragrance to smell like it's intended to smell so i don't really do a lot of layering but this is dolce and gabbana's limp and trees three am i saying that right yeah so this is a this is a very light aquatic scent it smells like watermelon it does have a hint of rose in the fragrance as well and then in the bottom, you get like a musky uh, type, not musty, but musky, <laughs> like musk scent in the, in the bottom. But what's funny is when I first bought this and I've had it probably some months now, probably like seven or eight months already. And um, what I've noticed on me now, it's the perfect, perfect fragrance. If you want something fresh out of the shower, you don't want anything that's going to project. You just want something that's close to your skin. If you want to sleep in it, perfect for that. Perfect for going to the gym, running errands. You know, you just want a little spritz of something. This is perfect for that. But what I found that on me after about four hours or something like that, it does kind of get a little musty. And I don't really, yeah, it does get a little musty. And I don't like that because I work for a physician and we literally sit next to each other. And I don't want him to be smelling musk like, oh, I should not put any deodorant on today. <laughs> but, but it is a good scent. Like I said, it just, it's not going to project. So for those of y'all that are big projection queens and stuff like that, you're not going to get that from this fragrance, but you will get a nice scent bubble. OK, which for work, I think is good for me. So I have put a little bit of a dent in it, not that much, just a little bit. I have been using it and um, I don't want to get rid of it because I feel like it's good for this Texas heat, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just it's a very light scent. It reminds me of uh, watermelon water. Have you guys ever had watermelon water? Mm -mm. Are you seeing people put slices of watermelon in their water? Kind of like cucumber okay. water. Okay. okay. But yeah. it's watermelon. But watermelon. So mm -hmm. I like it for that. You know, if you want something light, fresh, you know, this is a good one. So this is a Limpin' Trees 3 by Dolce & Gabbana. I know y'all heard of this one. Yeah. Okay. I put my nose on it and I smelled it the other day when I was in Ulta because um, you guys have been talking about it. And I was like, well, let me see what this watermelon fragrance smell like. And yeah, I can, I can definitely see that. It does smell mm -hmm. kind of like refreshing. And that's kind yes. of what you want. But yeah, it's want very refreshing. And, and musky. Mus no, we don't want that. No. <laughs> <laughs> see, yeah, it does. It does take a strange direction. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Wow. So, of course, keeping it clean and keeping you girls cool during this hot girl summer that we are all having. Um, my next fragrance that I'm going to talk about is by Tom Ford, and it is the Neroli Porfino Aqua. This is a like good that. fragrance. I did not realize, and I put a huge dent in it because I just keep spraying it. Like anytime that I want to smell fresh and clean, just out of the shower, this is kind of what I go, for, especially when it's like, dripping hot outside like i don't want a whole lot of and y'all know that i love my little gourmands and my vanilla and all that type of stuff but when it's hot you really just want to feel clean and this is what this does um it's very fresh it's citrusy um there's neroli in the fragrance it has lemon and mandarin and uh, that mandarin orange and that lemon together, like it's just, it's almost as if, like you said, you had a drink, like when you go into the spa and they have like the little cucumber water with the lemons. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of what it puts me in the mind of. And of course, it has that bergamot in there, Cassandra, which you absolutely love, honey. But it's good. It really is just a good, oh my gosh, clean out of the shower, fresh scent that you can wear, that he can wear. This is one of those fragrances to me that it doesn't necessarily lean feminine and it doesn't lean masculine. Like I really do believe that it's a good shared fragrance that mm. you can wear. And like I said, it's very fresh, very clean, um, feminine, masculine. Like it just, it's just the best of both worlds. Um, and it's just a good, clean fragrance. I could see myself even wearing this fragrance, like I said, 
even t-shirt, white t-shirt, jeans, go. You know, if you're mm -hmm. lounging right. out the shower, this is a good fragrance that you can use. And I love it. That's the one thing to me with time for it, got it right. And that's why I had to have a big bottle. Because sometimes you just want to, you just want to smell fresh. You don't want yes. stuff going on. You really, truly just want to smell fresh. And this one is a good freshie and will definitely cool you down during this hot girl summer that we are all having. So time <laughs> for Neroli Parfano. Aqua. I like that one. It, it reminds me of a bar of soap. Yes. <laughs> bar of soap. Yes. yes. A, a bougie bar of soap. Like, you know, yes. it's clean. I mm -hmm. love that. All right. All right. So my first scent is Prada. Ooh, this is Prada La Femme. Now this um, was released in 2016. And this right here is a, a nice, I get a nice fresh scent from this fragrance. And I love to wear this. I mean, you can wear this year round just to be fresh. When I get out of a shower, I love to put this on just so have something on. Now, don't get me wrong now. This is something you can dress up to now. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, if you just talking about fresh, that going to keep you cool, this is one. And this one has magnolia in it. So you got that magnolia oh. in it. And it, gets, and it gets like a tropical vibe to it. <laughs> Because oh, so bless you, thank you. So sorry. Because it has that um, what is it called? I forgot what it called, but anyway, it got a tropical vibe to it, and it got some beeswax in it. So you got a little honey in it too, but it's not a heavy oh. honey. Bless you. Bless you. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, you making a sneeze with your friend? No, it's not a heavy honey. Like you are finding John Paul Gutierrez scandals. So this is a beeswax light um honey scent that you're getting in this. Like I said, and it's powdery. Y'all know powder, powder, powder. Y'all know that's me. But this is gorgeous. I really do love Prada La Yay. I gotta get my hands on that. It's gorgeous. It is. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful fragrance. That's a beautiful fragrance. And every time mm -hmm. I keep doing the little funky two-step with it, but I'm going to eventually pull the trigger. <laughs> no, yeah, nobody has anything bad to say about it. Everybody loves it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to make me buy that I'm today, Sandra. <laughs> buy me one too, girl. Do what you've done. You, why you, why you spend it? I'm going to get the gift <laughs> set. So whatever come in there, I'm going to send you the extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 I struggled with this kind of like Gabby did. I don't have a lot of fresh, clean. Mine are mostly warm, deep, spicy, sweet. Right. Not a lot of fresh, clean. And I didn't realize that until we had to do this. And mm -hmm. so I did, I managed to pull out a few and I think I did good. I think I did good. So this is CK2 by Calvin Klein. This is unisex fragrance for sure. This is, um, it's woody. Besides that, it's fresh, spicy. It's aquatic. It's green. It's fresh. It's it's citrusy. It's just really. I think the citrusy aspects in this fragrance is what makes it the clean, you know, warm. Not warm and why am I saying warm, inviting? The clean <laughs> fragrance that we're looking for today in this video. This is and i this is not my first bottle i've had quite a few of these i've given these as, as gifts as well and i just love it it's good and it's people don't talk about it as much anymore i like the bottle the i really cute. like the i bottle. love the way it stands like that yeah that is so cool and it's good yeah. and it lasts all day that's on mm -hmm. top of it as well it's, they did good with this one Sometimes they put out so many fragrances so fast, I feel, that sometimes it's a fail with Calvin Klein's, but I think this yeah. is one of their good ones. It's good. One of the good ones. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Well, Don, yeah. to tell you the truth, for you and Gabby, I mean, I expected you to, you know, bring a little heat to the... <laughs> 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 yeah, I just don't have anything. Yeah, no, our no, no. fragrances are more dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. You know, it's just, like Dawn said, more deep, dark, sensual, spicy. Yeah. Spicy. Um, 
But um, Sweet. I've and Gourmand as well. I've managed to pull a yeah. few, and I've actually even got one that is my husband's number one all time favorite on me. Oh. So out of everything, out of everything, he would pick the one. Yeah, so, but I'm picking at the moment the best orange scent Ooh. that I own. Okay. Ooh. Juicy, honey. And That's it's got, fresh. And, and, and yeah, it's very fresh. Um, and it's only a little bottle by Aaron, Aaron Terence Hughes, and it's called Blood Orange. Okay. And this was kindly yeah. gifted to me by um, Chantelle Tiffany when she sent me some Aaron Terence Hughes fragrances. I don't know if you've ever tried Aaron Terence Hughes. Have any of you tried? Mm -mm. He, 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 does, he does a lot of fragrances that, you know, will he... He reviews, he reviews fragrance. He has a, a YouTube channel and he's a perfumer, but he hasn't really done any formal training. So he's kind of like knocked everything out of the window and he reviews fragrances and he can be very honest, very scathing. Some people either really love him or really hate him. And he has sparked a lot of debates on YouTube and a lot of people don't like him. But a lot of people like myself love him. And I love him because he is different. Um, and he's gone through a lot of battles in his life as well, which he's quite open about. So this fragrance, now this is completely unisex. A man or a woman could wear it. I think it has a herb in it called Cade, C-A-D-E. I don't know if anybody has heard of that um, ingredient but it is very aromatic very citrusy it's like you cut into an orange and the juice flows out the mm. well don't get me started with the juices flowing it's only <laughs> six, it's only 6 30 on a sunday evening here she so, started it and I, I know she started I, I, it I, I've, you know, <laughs> I've been at work all day i i you know i've had i've had a red bull and i'm like I like R2 D2. <laughs> 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 you know, I have been, I've been like R2 D2 all day. But this is uplifting, it's zingy, it's it's long lasting as well. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for a fragrance that projects and lasts and is a citrus fragrance, Blood Orange by Aaron Terence Hughes. Oh, ah. lovely. Mm -hmm. mm, just tropical and Beautiful. Mm. Sounds good. Okay, so my next fragrance is probably not one that I would have bought um, on my own necessarily, but what had happened was <laughs> I, was in, I was in TJ Maxx and I was in line and it was right after the world opened back up and I was in line behind this lady and she had all these fragrances in her cart. And she was about to pay for them. And then she took this one out of her cart and laid it to the side. So when I walked up, I grabbed it and put it in my cart and it was $15. What? And I was like, yes, it was $15. And I said, there's no way I'm leaving the store without this fragrance. I was like, thank you, madam. I don't know who you are, but thank you for <laughs> emptying your cart for me. So I picked this one up. This is Marc Jacobs. Oh, wait a minute. Decadence. Did you say you paid $15 for Fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Yes. Fifteen. Yes. And wow. I thought I was I thought I was early at the store. You know, I, I wanted to make sure I was there when they opened up the door. So obviously I was late. But she <laughs> she beelined it to the fragrances. So yeah, she took this out. And when I got it home, I smelled it and I was like, wow, this to me, this is far from the original i know some people it is. Say, it is. Hey, yeah it's so far from the original yes. in my opinion i don't even get any of the original dna i know some people struggle with the original mm. uh decadence fragrance yeah. but this one to me is very leafy okay uh what i smell in this one is ivy so if you can imagine like smelling a rose or having a, an arrangement of uh, roses. And you know you get this hint of the leafy smell in it. Every mm -hmm. now and again, you smell the leaves. Yeah, That's what this smells like. It's very leafy. It's ivy that's in mm -hmm. here. There's some black currant. There's some pear. There's some raspberry. But it's not fruity, though. It's not fruity. It's very, very leafy, okay? Right. 
And then in the dry down, I think you get like um, like cashmere in uh, smell. And so it doesn't dry down to anything powdery, but it just gives you a fresh green type of scent, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's not bad. It's really right. not bad. Like I said, I don't think mm -hmm. I would have bought this one because I do love the original Marc Jacobs decadence better than I like this one. Mm -hmm. But this is a good flanker because, you know, sometimes people make the companies make flankers and they do kind of line up with the original one. But for right. me, this one is like like they cousins, like they're right. not even sisters, like they're cousins, you know. Right. Right. But this is a good fragrance. So if y'all are looking for something fresh, it kind of gives me a little bit of aquatic vibe as well. Very green, you know, but still fresh. It's probably out of my whole lineup, I would say maybe the most like freshest fragrance I have here on the table. When right. you talk about yeah, when you talk about like leafy, you know kind of greeny, freshy, aquatic sense. Mm. And I'm not a big aquatic person. I'm with y'all, Gabby and um, Don. I'm a very heavy hitter, you know, but, and I don't have a lot of fresh fragrances either. I have more mm -hmm. earthy fragrances that are kind of heavy and dirty like that, right. but this is definitely one of my freshest fragrances I have. So this is the mm. Mark Jacobs Oh So Decadent. Mm. So if y'all into that, this is a good one to try. Now, I don't know if y'all going to get it for $15. <laughs> Say, I don't know. That disclaimer, that disclaimer in there. Yes, I don't want y'all because, you know, you know, subscribers would DM you and be like, girl, I went to TJ Maxx and I ain't see that for $15. I'm like, it was still $59. Yeah, it's, 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 it's They're going to come at you. $39.99. They're coming at you. What TJ Maxx you went to? Oh my gosh! I, yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I I, I don't know what to tell you, ma'am. I'm I'm terribly sorry. I just know I got mine. <laughs> okay, so this next fragrance that I'm going to bring, oh. bring to you guys uh -oh. um, for it. But do you have those fragrances that you have a love hate relationship with? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, I get cool. rid of those. Dang, she okay. hated so oh, much she oh froze. She Did froze I freeze? Them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you hated so much you it froze like, up on us. It was like a freeze frame from the end of a soap opera. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got it in like a... She's having a bad time. Oh, honey. Have a... Sandra, do you have this? Because I think you have it. Of course. Oh, oh yes, she has it. Yes, you have it. I tried okay. it. So, I don't know. I've been reaching for it and I've tried. Now, I I used all of the shower gel and the body cream. I used all of that up. I don't even have any of that left. And mm -hmm. so, I've been playing with this and just trying to figure out <laughs> where strong. it fits. And oh, she's freezing again. It's, it's because it's so hot in there for her. <laughs> I need to take a oh, picture of that. So okay. Right. Right. You can hurry up and get it. Hurry up. Ah, did you get up first? You, you keep freezing. You, you keep freezing with your mouth open. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that means it. Oh, there she go again. Oh. Yeah, bird on it's the It's janky, yeah. and that's why I don't want to wear it. It's good. It's a good fresh fragrance though. That's the one thing. It's a good citrus fresh fragrance. It has mandarin in it. So you know you have that. It has that mandarin. It has lemon. There's actually there's pink pepper in it, black currant, jasmine, freesia, um, and there's cedarwood and there's musk in it. Um, like I said, it's a floral, fresh, fruity, right. woody fragrance, but to me, I think it leans more masculine. And I think that's why I'm just like, eh, I'll I'll spray it. I'll put it on, but it's very clean. Baby. Oh, Miss yeah. Tur so Turquoise cool. said, you are not going to come out here and talk bad about me today. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she said, it's not mm. happening on my watch. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> She's hating on you. But I don't know, y'all. I just, I'm just on the fence about it, but it's good. 
Like I, I can definitely see this on a man. I can definitely see my husband wearing this. I can see this on a man getting out, you know, getting, you know, he got his little, his little outfit on girl. And he, 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 you know, he grabbing the keys. He's like, you know, let's go turn a few corners together. You know, and he's smelling all good. The drop top down. He, we on the beach, just wherever. Like it's a really good fragrance, but I just think that it's just more for a man and it's not for me. There needs to be a little something I don't know. I don't know. But it's good. I don't know how to say yeah. that. That's why I have a love yeah. relationship with it. It yeah. really is good, but I just think that it's not for me. I think it's yeah. for him. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it definitely smells like summer in a bottle. You're going to get that yeah. summertime vibe. You're going to get all of that. But I just much rather smell it on a man. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So, fellas, yeah. this one is for you. <laughs> Yeah, I smell yeah. that one actually, but I'm gonna I'm I'm wait till I catch it at TJ Maxx for fifteen dollars <laughs> and scoop it on up. You know, that's yeah, what I'm gonna do. It. Mm. I think it's bloody now, hideous. I have that one, <laughs> and I love it. And both of us wear it. My husband and I wear it, so I do like it. Now it's not like my love, 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 but you know. Like you said, it's better on him than it is on me. See, okay. You know, okay. Yeah. Okay. you know, we both wear it and he liked to smell it on me, but it's just, I said, okay, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, so what I did, I decided to get the big sister. Hey, I like oh, the girl right there. Yes, the Dylan Blue. Dylan that Blue. Is Cha, cha, cha. This one came out in 2017, and this one got that green apple in it. So, you know, it's kind of, um, green apple is kind of like tart, sour. That's what you kind of get with this one, but you still get that sweetness in it. Um, it's a fruity, floral, rosy, fresh, sweet scent to me. And I really do love this one. Once again, this is Versace Dylan Blue. I like that one. That's, I like that one. Versace. I love that one. Versace. Yes, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's, good I, it's, it's dark too. It's got those little yeah. dark ten yeah, tendencies to it. You can, that's what I'm saying. Like these two fragments, the last two I just said, you can dress them up or dress them down. So, you yep, know, for sometimes, sure. you know, what you Love got out, it'd be dark and sexy. And sometimes you can just, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're going to go right from Versace to, you know, girl on because, <laughs> because I have to, because I can't do a video. I can't yeah, live my life without yeah. girl on fragrances. I can't, I just can't. And the nice part about the Guerlain fragrances is most of the products from their line you can get from the secondhand websites like FragranceNet.com and all of that good stuff at really, really good prices for these things. And they smell mm. so good. So this is like um, citrusy, vanilla, it's woody, it's ambery, but it's also warm, spicy and sweet and fresh spicy. And that's that fresh spicy that makes me, made me go for this to choose as a, a fresh fragrance. That's definitely jicky. And this is old school too. This is still smells so good. I love this. Especially mm. fresh Which out of the Which one is that again? I love it. This is jicky. 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 Uh, jicky. jicky. Okay. Yes, jicky. <laughs> jicky came out. Let me see. Jicky came out in 1889. And it's still wow. kicking. Wow. Still kicking. So, you know, it, that says something. Gerlan, I'm telling you, if you girls don't have Jiggy you know, in your collection, 1989. you need You're it. That's older than some of my underwear. Did you say right. 1989? You said 1889. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 89. Jiggy came out. Wow. wow. That, yeah. I mean, that says something about a fragrance, and they're still yes, selling Caroline. it today. Come on. Yes, You've got to have this. And, and, the, and the bee bottles. The bee bottles wow. are great, too. I love them. Wow. But Jiggy. I love it. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> so I'm going on to a Mugler scent. Okay. Okay. And I am okay. going, I don't think Mandy will like this scent. Oh, um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let me see. It's... I haven't smelled it, but I want to smell it. Have any, has any, have any of you smelled it? Not that one. They say no. it smells like red hots. 
Smells like what? what? Cinnamon Red candy? Like cinnamon candy. Red hot. Well, well, I think it's fresh on me because okay. it's got gin, it's got ginger. Okay. Yeah, it's got ginger in, and I can really smell the ginger, and it's. I think it's such a fresh scent. On me, I. You could wear it all year round, but like dawn, and like you. Mandy, I haven't got many fresh scents. It's so hard. This is like the Sorry. freshest it gets for me. You know, it's it's just jasmine and ginger. It doesn't yeah. really last very long. It's 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 just an okay bottle. It's it's you know, it's an okay fragrance. But um yeah, this is alien fusion, Carolyn, mighty strong. This is alien fusion. Um and it's it is nice. I, I heard you, people said it was nice. Yeah, I haven't heard. Yeah, it's it. nice. It's it's nice. Mm -hmm. That's a safe. That's a safe word, isn't it? Nice. You know, it's like, nice. We don't really. We don't really like to do nice. We like to do words nice. like epic or yes or um six no. or baby. Oh wow! You know, yeah, you know. But yeah, but if you just want a spray and go and. Just be that girl next door. And I know we're not the girls next door, but, you yeah. know, we can just... No, I'm the just... girl down the street and around the corner. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. And, I'm a, and I'm a little farther on the corner. Yeah, <laughs> the, only thing, the only thing that's red in my life are the lights. <laughs> <laughs> not the bottle. <laughs> but, yeah, but Alien Fusion. Right. Yeah, I've seen that one on sale actually, and I've been tempted several times to get it because you know I I have a love for yeah, nuclear I think fragrances. You don't really like Alien, do you? Um, no, do you but I love Alien Mirage. Yeah, Alien Mirage oh. is really nice for me. Like that, that is my Alien signature Alien scent. Right. So I like that one. So my next freshy um, fragrance comes. It's a designer. And I don't know where this woman went, and I hate that she's not around anymore because her fragrances, like Cassandra say, are so epic. And I really miss her take on fragrances, and that's Donna Karen. Yeah. This is uh, Pure by DKNY. You guys probably will still see this one in yeah. bags and Marshalls and stuff. I and just got rid of it. $49.99. <laughs> I don't know why. But I love this fragrance. This is a a very soft, fresh scent. Okay, it has um, sandalwood in it. It has this is lotus, sandalwood, jasmine, freesia, amber, orchid, and rose. And it is it kind of dries down to something powdery, but um, it is just a fresh, pretty scent to me. Like something I can wear to work. And then I can transition into like dinner time or something like that. I could sleep in this fragrance if I wanted to. It is just so soft, powdery, somewhat aquatic, and it's just really, really good. I want to get, as y'all can see, I'm almost done with this bottle, but I want to buy me another bottle. I'm definitely going to buy me another bottle before I can't find it anymore, but it's just one of those fragrances, and I think a lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of people really don't talk about Donna Karen fragrances anymore because no. I don't really think she's making them anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, one of my all-time favorites, so this is Pure by DKNY, and I think there's a few flankers of this, but this mm -hmm. is the original uh, fragrance, but very pretty, very fresh. Can y'all be scary? I got rid of that one. You got rid of yours? Yeah, yeah. I it was okay, but, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, like I was saying, we ain't got too many fresh fragrances in our collection, and I and now what I want something to wow me, and that yeah. one just was okay. I'm here. What you want? Okay, I'm here. And so my granddaughter came up one day. I said, "Huh, you need this in your life?" She said, "Grandmama, it ain't all that." I said, "Yes, you do, huh? Take it on with you." <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. I think Gabby, you would like. I think Gabby, you'd like this one because yeah. it's. You're like me. We don't do a lot of aquatic scents. Like y'all would never hear me talk about Issey Miyake. It's just something about I'm that. Like those mm. It's something about an aquatic scent that I just really don't really. And yet the frustrating to. thing is, Mandy. Whenever I wear an aquatic scent, 
Rich goes mad. He loves aquatic sex. <laughs> it's yeah, you know, it's. I'm thinking, oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't think the internet is gonna let me be great and fabulous today because it keep going in and out, blinking, freezing me every five seconds. So I'm gonna try to talk good about something and maybe some good vibes will come my way. <laughs> <laughs> So the next fragrance that I am going to bring to you guys was actually a gift uh, from my husband. And I was so happy that he picked this out on his own. But again, it's a clean fragrance and it comes from Tiffany & Co. And it is the Tiffany mm. & Love. And this fragrance, I really realized that um, with a lot of them that just came, you know, the, the Tiffany fragrances that have come out, they are very much so light fragrances. They're light and you can... Yeah wear them and they're like easy reach you can grab and go and don't have to yeah. think about it but the tiffany in love was one of those like i said that he picked out and of course he got um the the shower gel and the lotion and i also got uh i think there was a body cream or something that goes with it um the, my, my daughter ran off with the shower gel and the, and the lotion so i got to re-up again but this is a good fresh fragrance it has blue basil there's great Oh. Grapefruit in it. There's with the uh, Tiffany fragrances. There is black currant in it. There's there's another one. I think this is like the third one. It has that black. Um, there's vetiver and cedar wood, and I think that's kind of gives me that. Oh my god, that woody. Oh my god, that smells good. Yeah, <laughs> girl. Oh, honey. I need to get this out some more. This is this is good. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good it's one. Good. It's almost like it's 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 it really okay. Come through. Definitely summer in a bottle. Every day, easy reach. I honestly believe that you can wear this year round. You don't have to think about it. You could, this will take you all day long. You could just basically get this fragrance, spray it in the day, re spray it, you know, throughout the day. And if you are going to dinner, you can basically bring this. Oh. <laughs> That's how good it is. It's energizing. It kind of wakes you up a little bit. Oh my God. It's good. That's it's one of my favorite uh, fragrances from mm -hmm. Tiffany, is that one. The Tiffany I got the intense. I got the Tiffany intense. I love that one. Mm -hmm. And it to me is not intense at all, though. But yeah, yeah, I like. But I can tell that there's a little mm with that Tiffany yeah, intense. It's a but little right here is good. Yeah. And you know what else is good with the Tiffany I love? The men's version of it is good oh. too. Yeah, it's good. But this right here, this is definitely. Or if you're looking for a good everyday fragrance, I would, think, I would say this might be even signature. Mm -hmm. I could put a, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's good. That's my opinion, though. That's my thought. But I really do. I would, who, who wouldn't want to be known for wearing teeth? I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> right. Take that. I know our girl signed me up. Oh my God, that smells good. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> I, like I like that one. That's it. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Now I have a, a aquatic one. Uh, and the only reason I keep this is because they are hard to find now. And when you do find them, they want you to pay an arm and a leg, which I'm not paying. I got, I think I got two of them I need to purchase, but this is mm -hmm. Mac. You know when Mac had all these, mm -hmm. all that, yeah. that was my jam. I was trying to get every last one of them, but um, it's okay. Now this one is Tequali, Tequali, whatever. But anyway, this came out in 2011. Now this is a watery, lemony fragrance. Mm. Now it's very watery. It's it's nice. I like it. I really do like it. But for me to say, I like it. And um, like I said, it's watery, it's lemony, so it's like that bergamot type fragrance, like bergamot. 
and water and lemon. That's what it is. <laughs> that's all it is. And, and got, lemon water. It's fresh. It got lemon water. That's what it is. Lemon, uh, water in it. It's just fresh. It's just aquatic. But one thing about it, though, it got oris in it. And y'all mm. know always make things powdery. And so once it dries down, it mm. is so cute and powdery, y'all. Ah. So y'all know how I feel about my powdery fragrance. Right up her alley. Mm. So really, I think that's another reason I keep this around too. But really, I keep it around because I keep all of them around. And I'm too short of them. And I'm still trying to get the other two just to have. Mm -hmm. I might not like it, but I just want to have it. Once again, this is Matt Chiquati. Classic. 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 I, I love, love that bottle. Fragrance. That mm. bottle looks like a little aquarium. Mm -hmm. And it smells Matt has a good. I got to use this more often. It smells you good. Like it. Did you say you like it, though? Mm. I like the bottle. I like the bottle. But the fragrance yeah. is good at first. You know, like I said, it's been a while since I, you know, used it. But now, this... Mm, mm. You're liking it, huh? I might have to get back talk to that one. <laughs> I love revisiting an old fragrance yes. that you thought you liked, yes. and then you revisit yeah. it, and you're like, wow, why did I ever put right. this down? Right. I like doing that. That's part of the yeah. fun about collecting and reviewing fragrances. That's mm -hmm. that's so much fun. It's like, mm -hmm. what? I didn't know how much I really liked it, but now I do. I Or you like it even more. See, or there's a video. There's a video we got to do. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So Black Current, I brought to the table Tiffany, the OG by Tiffany. The original Tiffany. The OG, for sure. This is so good, and it's woody. It's earthy. It's got that stuff that I love, but it's still fretress. It's fretress. Fresh and citrusy. It's fretress. <laughs> so it's got rose and violet. It's fruity, uh, citrusy, powdery. It's just, gosh, it's. And I got this in Cancun. We flew from Florida to Cancun, Mexico, and that's where I got this. And I love it. I just, it just reminds me of Cancun. So to me, that's that's See, fresh, and, fresh and nice. I love it. I that's love what it. I love like about a good mm. fragrance when you can bring back that memory with it. That that mm. special. Yes. Memory. It's not always yes. like exactly. That. Um, right. Yeah. Right. How it moves you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. Hi. I'm eating. I haven't it's eaten. Okay. <laughs> we haven't and either. Just, We're I've, getting I've there, just, though. Well, I I'm just eaten. coming in from work and I'm just, yeah. my mouth is like the bottom of a bird's cage. So I just need <laughs> something to eat. So that, that's I'm a not going to ask what's at the bottom of that bird cage. I'm just not going <laughs> to <don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> So the next one I'm going to bring, actually, Mandy. I want to call you Amanda now, because yes, you are the Amanda. you are the you are the Amanda Marie. Yes. So yes, Amanda, dear. do you like being called Amanda? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, okay. they, they've been calling well, me that I, for forty-four years, so I don't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> because I only really get called Gabrielle. When at, at work, when I don't want people to call me Amanda. I wish they didn't know my name at work, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amanda, Amanda, I have a Donna Karen fragrance. Yes, let um, me see. It is DKNY Women. Okay. Oh, and it yeah. is, this is Richard's number one scent. Oh. Now, remember that, guys. Just remember this. because There's going to be a quiz later. Yeah, yeah I might be doing oh. a quiz later in the next few weeks you never know i'll uh, watch this space so yeah so this is richard's number one scent on me now i really do like it but i don't love it <laughs> but he loves it on me because it's so lemony he loves mm -hmm. he lemon. loves lemony scents lemon and is clean lemon. yeah it's clean it's like you lemon is clean shower. It's yep. clean, it's pure, it's uplifting, it's yes. everything that I'm not, but I'm trying <laughs> to be, you know, so it's, so, and this is just a 50 ml, so a 100 ml is huge, you know, it's a Did stonker. you just buy that one? No, I've had, had it. it, I've had it, 
Yeah, because it's hard to find any Donna Karen fragrances. Yeah, I've, I've had it years. And you can see I haven't made much of a dent. I've had this years and years and years. But years and like years. I've got to sound like a like like farmer. Um, so, it just goes on and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like marriage. It just goes on and on and on. But, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I, he really loves it. So when we're on holiday... And if I'm out at the beach, if you're out at the beach and you just want to smell like lemon, yeah, then go and go and get it. And it is pretty long lasting for a Donna Karen fragrance. They do mm -hmm. last quite a long they last. time. Yes, they do. And it projects fairly well. So for a fresh scent. So yeah, if you can grab a bottle, get one in the original one. So yeah. Yeah. I need to find me a bottle of Donna Karen Chaos. Oh, I've not heard of that one. Okay. Now, I th I think I Cash saw somebody me. on Cash eBay nice. trying to sell one for like two hundred dollars. Girl, but God. um, Does yeah, that, is that cellophane? Is that cellophane? No, I don't Shrink know. Because the I thing is, I won't buy the... anything off of eBay if it doesn't come with the box. It's like no, thank you. Yeah. It it's yeah. in the box, but I don't think it has this, the well, wrapping it. don't have a cellophane on a lot. It don't have a cellophane. It. Yeah, I won't get it. But to yeah. me, that was one of the most, Reason. man, oh, my God. When I tell you guys that Donna Karen Chaos was above all of her fragrances really? that she made next to woman. Now, that's Donna Karen. That's DKNY woman. But yeah. I have I have woman by Donna Karen. Oh. which is in a different bottle, like a bigger bottle. That one was pretty epic. But that Donna Karen Chaos, oh, my God. It was just, I cannot put into words mm -hmm. how beautiful that fragrance was. But it came out one day, and the next day she stopped making it. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. But this next one I'm going to talk about is a dupe. So I've been watching um, a lot of Charisse TV's um, reels on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, and she, I don't know her. you know, Sharice TV, Charisse TV, no. but Gary. she, what's her name? Gabby, her name, Abby, Abby, Abby. Oh, I'll have to look her up. Sharice, right. Sharice, Charisse that's your is Cherish, it's the Cherish TV, yeah. Uh -huh. And so she, um, had put a dupe of Creed Event is Her mm -hmm. on one of her reels on Instagram. And I said, you, I have some decants. I have the decant of, no, actually I have a dupe of the Creed Event is For Him from Dossier. And mm -hmm. then I have a decant of the Creed Event is For Her that I got from Decant X. So I got this one. This is from Al Haraman. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't this cute? The box yes. is so cute. Oh, this is this beautiful. How are their boxes, the way they do their stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. This is La Aventure film by Al Haraman. Mm. And then it opens up like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I got it. And then this is the bottle. That looks yeah. Oh, my gosh. Go on. I have, I have fingerprints on it because I've been playing with it <laughs> all weekend. So let me Here wipe them on. off. <laughs> Hard to wipe before, off. Before done, get on me. But y'all, when I tell right. you, smells just like it smells just like Creed Event is her. Mm. Oh my god! And I, well, I think I paid like fifty dollars for this. Mm. Oh, and the, and the Creed Event is like what four hundred or something. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's, yep. Oh, it's oh, five. Oh, five. <laughs> Four oh five. That is crazy. I yeah. just refused. I cannot. I cannot. But the notes in this fragrance in the top, you get pineapple, black currant, bergamot, some berries, and then in the middle you get cedar, freesia, rose, and in the base you get musk, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Y'all, when I tell you this fragrance comes off like. <sighs> It's, a, it's fresh, okay? It does give me aquatic vibes, mm -hmm. but that dry down is so nice in this fragrance, and it, it turns into something that I love, like a woodiness, um, but not too woody, okay? Just enough to make this fragrance real sexy, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it is. it has a very, like, a lot of sex appeal. 
Mm -hmm. And I cannot get enough of this fragrance. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend four four oh five on the Creed of Ventus Her. I'm just gonna use this one because this is amazing. Yeah, now, I don't I get like to see the dry down between the two to see because you know a lot of times when you have a dupe, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes that dupe and that dry down it's it, like it smells better than mm -hmm. that 405 perfume bottle that you purchased. Right, right. So, A B, when I tell no. you the amp, the cedar and the musk, the sandalwood, the vanilla in this thing is mm -hmm. man, it is so nice. I'm telling you guys, like. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So go to Fragrantica and read the comments. Read because y'all know I'm big on reading comments. Yeah. I buy anything I like to see what people are talking about. And they rave about this fragrance. It is, mm -hmm. it is really, really good. No one's gonna be able to clock you. Like, like they say, no one will know. No right. one will know. Oh, no. Your, no one will know. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm telling yes. you. Al Haraman La Ventura film. Okay. Mm -hmm. Telling you, get this one. It is $50 well spent, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. I heard about that one. Yeah. Yes. I love the bottle. Yeah, that is that's that's pure, that's gorgeous. Let me tell yes, you guys pretty. My, my experience with walking into one of those little perfume houses. Um, you know how they, they have them, you know, they have all of the fragrances. And of course, you know, she was like, um, well, she showed me the dupe for Al Harman. What is it called? The Arma Oud. Uh-huh. Well, Which whatever one? the 540 is. Oh, whatever. Amber Oud. That one. And she showed me that and she's like, yeah, um, $350. I said, $350? For this? And said, but, and I told her, I said, I said, every YouTuber, I know it's talking about this and they ain't paid no $350. So I got on that girl when I found out that the prices of them were like $50. Girl, I looked at her and I slid that right on back to her. I said, I don't know who you think you talking to, but you got the wrong one today. She wanted you to pay $350 for the $350 no. for the oh, no. Girl. It took everything in me not to tell her a few choice words. Uh -uh. I hate her. Oh, you. She thought you had no ram. That's what that was. She That's what that was. Uh -huh. she, oh no, she, she thought oh, wrong. No, she didn't. Oh yes, she did. Oh, she <laughs> did. look, uh -huh. I got a little bit of my aunt in me. She must not know about me. I'm little, but I will get you told in five heartbeats. <laughs> so this next fragrance I am going to talk about, to about is um it was a fragrance that I had went into I had went into Neiman's and Mandy Glam. Let me tell you, when you were talking about that little hat on that Twilly de Hermes, I was <laughs> like, oh my god, I gotta get me a little hat. And so of course I go in and it was a new fragrance that came out and is the Twilly oh. D Hermes and it is the old ginger. Oh, you go. My gosh. Let me tell mm -mm -mm. you, y'all, this is happiness in a bottle. Okay. Yeah. This is it is a gorgeous, beautiful fragrance. I remember I went in and I sprayed down in it because I have gotten to the point now where I'm like, unless it's just really just first like love it first spray love it first sniff i'm walking out the door with it i really do want to get it on my skin first i'm not going to be doing a whole lot of too much blind buying like i'm just not right. going to do it right. and so i sprayed down in this stuff y'all i left out and i remember i was downtown and i was crossing over and i just kept smelling myself so of course you know i got in the car went home smelling myself all the way home Girl, I had to go back the next day. I said, this don't make no sense. This don't make no sense, but this stuff is so good. And it has peony in it. It's candied ginger and cedar. They say that that's all that's in there, but I'm like Cassandra. Mm -hmm. No, no tuberose? No. Mm -hmm. It didn't look like they lie. It didn't say, but y'all. Yeah, I'm Cassandra. They lie. They lie. This is a, let me tell you, I have never wanted like more stuff with the fragrance as much as I want with this because it smells like 
a bubble bath. It really does. It smells clean. It's fresh. It's sparkling. It's like a sparkling, soft, fresh, soapy type. Like it gives you that type of vibe, but it's a sweet fragrance. Um, it's perfect for summer days. Like when I wore it that day, of course it was scalding hot outside and I just smelled so good. I smelled clean. I smelled fresh. I smelled like bougie soap, basically, is what it smelled like. That's what it smells that, like. That, that so is it better than sweet. the original? Is it better than original? Okay, so I don't have the original, but I have the, help me out, Gabrielle, the Privé. The Eau Poivre. The Eau Poivre. I have yeah. that one, and I have smelled the original. So if I had to rate them, I would get, I would go this route, and then I would go the original, and then I would go the Privé, or whatever that is. Yeah. This one here, I love it. I have worn it to work, received a ton of compliments on it. The and it, it's soft and it's beautiful. Like you're not gonna get like beast mode in your face projection because mm -hmm. I don't expect for clean fragrances to, to do that for me. That's what that's mm -hmm. just my expectation. But right. let me tell you, it will coat your skin. And when he comes in to like kind of smell and, and and touch that little shoulder, and if he leans down or whatever, anywhere in your space. You are going to smell good. It smells amazing. I'm, I couldn't believe it. And I thought to myself, if I would have had the chance, I would have just purchased this and just moved on with the Twillies. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the tuberose. If, if you're not a fan of tuberose, mm -hmm. which you get people, get you get a lot, to me, you get a lot of tuberose in the original Twilly. Uh -huh. And people, okay. a lot of people don't rock with tuberose. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it is. If that one does not have tuberose in it, it's probably why you like it better than the, the original one. But see, but see, I love tuberose because I love Gucci Bloom. So yeah. I, yeah. I think with this, y'all, when I tell you, oh my God, it's like you go in there and you, you have purchased the most expensive bar of soap ever. But it's like you went and you purchased it like, and you know how you have like a boutique. You know how when you're like going through those little country towns and there's like this little, there's like this little boutique that's there and you go in, they have all these like little unique things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It kind yeah. of like It smells like that little unique thing that you're not going to be able to go back home and find because yeah. it smells so good. But yeah, this right here, Oh my God, this could have been my scent of the day because it is <laughs> it is beautiful. I'm gonna have to smell that one. You I mean, are I haven't smelt it. I don't think we can get it here in the UK yet. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. And I went with oh, the big yeah, bottle. Yeah. And I normally, you know, we normally sometimes we'll purchase the big bottle when we think, you know, when it when it's the better deal or value or whatever, in which it was, but I'm so glad because I will spray and get my whole entire life. Like I'm not gonna, you know, there are some fragrances like, okay, you know what, let me be a little easy with but this it's right here. Girl, spray down, spray every inch of your body, honey, from the crack of your toes, in between your toes, on <laughs> up your legs, up your thighs. Just spray it, honey, because you're going to smell bougie. Okay? Wow. Mm, I'm going to have to try wow. that one. I got to check that one out, too. I don't cool. have any homies. I don't have any. Thank so you. Like, Pick it up. No, I don't have any. Oh. Yes. But it's on my wish list. Y'all know I got a long wish list. A long You'll love the OG. You'll love the OG, Cassandra. Yeah, I'm a little OG. Because yeah. I got a long wish list. Okay. <laughs> my next one is Oscar de la Rente, Bella Blanca. Oh. Yeah, I know this one came out in 2018. Y'all yeah, know this. And this one right here. You know, it's fresh, mm -hmm. sweet, mm. musky, not musty, mm. musty, not musty, <laughs> Mus not musty. It has that tuberose in it. It's green. You got that jasmine, that orange blossom, that green leaves in it, and I think that's what making it fresh and. Mm, mm, mm. This is another one. You can dress it up or you can dress it down. This is so good for this weather out here because it is so hot. Y'all just don't know. I can't stand it. I be pulling my wigs off in the car. Uh, uh, <laughs> not in the car. 
Yes. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all got to know me personally. I ride down the road with my wig on, and I be get, I have a hot flash. Next thing I know, that wig go. I be like, Whoa, I can't take it no more. I hope you I have tinted windows. Yeah. I don't have no tinted <laughs> windows. And let me tell you, one time I did it, and this guy pull up around next to me, looking. I said. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. No more. I couldn't take it. I was hot. I pulled that stuff like a oh. So if I had some fresh on, I might have kept my wig off. <laughs> you need to keep that in the car then. Keep that one in the car, okay? In case you. The good thing about it, though, the way I had my hair, it was cute. So regardless, I was cute. <laughs> <laughs> you mean under the wig it was cute? Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna look crazy on the wig because I never know where I'm gonna take it off. Okay. Yeah. You got to look cute under your wigs too. Is you crazy? Yes. My husband, my husband never forgive me. I'm looking like a chicken head under the wig and then take it off. <laughs> well, that's why they were concerned if your windows were tinted. They yeah. thought you had on that underwig, what is it, pantyhose thing on your head. What is that thing called? Yeah, yeah, what they call them things. Wig cap. Yeah, but wig I had a hat and a cap, and then I had the little hairs. You know, I had I have it together. Oh, I, okay. My husband know because we ride together all the time. We go out of town. I get hot. Child, that wig is coming off in that car. And he don't do nothing but sit right there and dry. You know that to say that to me because I'm hot. <laughs> I'm going so through hot. my family womanhood. Leave me alone, I'm hot. Once again, <laughs> Oscar De La Renta, Bella, Bella Blanca. <laughs> Man, that's why I ain't want my wig said it's too hot for that. <laughs> game, game over. I, I brought another uh, Versace. Versace has been a big topic today. Yeah. I know. Well, let me, let me stop talking about them because I don't need to freeze again. <laughs> <laughs> this one is bright crystal and it says yeah. it's bright crystal because it's bright. It is bright. It's a bright, yeah. clean fragrance. It's florally, it's fresh, it's aquatic. Citrusy, also stuck in that woody. I think every fragrance in my collection is woody. Woody, <laughs> woody. I really feel that way. It's a fresh, spicy, and rose. And honestly, this is good. I don't reach for it that much. I've had this a long few years, wow. and I don't reach for it because it's just not my thing even though it's woody it's right. it's not my thing it's just not it's it's clean but i think for me it's a good sheet spray why don't i sp- i'm gonna spray it on my sheets that's exactly okay, what the do same thing this. Pillowcases this would too. be a really yeah this would be a good sheet pillowcase spray right. that's what right. i'm gonna do with it okay that was fun <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a little rotation of bringing out those fragrances that we aren't loving on, just to kind of revisit yeah. them. Right, right. Yeah, that that'll yeah. be our next one for us to do next next month. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, back to me. So my next one. Um, I oh oh. oh Oh, she's just talking. She she, she um, wants attention. She's fine. Hi, Don. She's a talker. Hi, Don. I bet he loves right. Cassandra. <laughs> wow. Don loves Cassandra. Hi, Don. Don loves um, Cassandra. <laughs> well, there you go. So, right. <laughs> so we have. I I think I made a lot of people buy this. Yes, I want and it. I think, oh. I think oh, Marcy, Marcy, she made a lot of people buy this as well. Hi, Ange. Ange is in the house. Hi, um, Ange. And I like this because it's, it's citrusy, it's floral, there's a bit of jasmine. And it's it's it smells rich. It smells oh. like you smell like, I think Keetra. I mean, mm-hmm. I love your descriptions, Keetra, Keetra, when you, you say things smell bougie and rich and you've just stepped out of a boutique. Whereas yes, me, I just step out, whereas me, I just step out of the sewer, you know what I mean? Like. So but you know <laughs> but Sardi Donna, it is just 
it's it's lovely and i know maria collette i don't know if anybody of you know yeah maria collette she mm. recently did a video haul and she bought this as well and she loves it and our aunt our aunt from the uk she bought a bottle of this as well and now is starting to love it and it's just it performs in the heat I've only worn this in the heat so far, but it performs in the heat. It's got a note of yuzu in it, mm. which is like a, it's a citrusy note, I'm assuming. So, um, yes, happy in Seattle. I want to try Sound of Donna because it's a bit more woody. So maybe Dawn would like that one. Mm. But, um, woody! And it just looks, it just looks like Sorry. <laughs> So Just that one is called Trusardi Donna. Trusardi Donna, the Eau de Parfum. Ah, okay, let me write this 2011 down. edition, I think. Hmm. So, okay. yeah, and you can get it in the UK, you can get it dirt cheap. So I don't know if you can get it, how readily available it is in the US, but it's only about, this is a, a 50 ml, and I only paid about 20 pounds. So that's about, yeah. I don't know how much it is, what, $30? Probably $30. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, love it. Love it. And it's a compliment getter. You get compliments mm. from this. So, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah I know, I love a good cheapie. People talking about it after you uh, started raving about it, Gabby, so. It yeah. Be good, girl. They said it got a lot of patchouli and um, berries in it. Yeah, it does have patchouli and berries, but it's the yuzu that I can smell. Mm. To me, it's so citrusy. Now, I know Tara from Opinionated Sense, mm -hmm. on her, she said it leaned more masculine. Mm -hmm. But I I think it could be a unisex fragrance. For mm. me, I think it's more feminine. But but fragrance is subjective, isn't it? Yeah. It's how you, yes. it's how yeah. you perceive it. So, right. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah. I did, and yeah. 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 Oh, so I there like we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Man. So, okay. So just like my other girls on here, I'm a very heavy, woody person. And mm -hmm. fresh to me, I don't have a lot of aquatic. Some people, when they think of fresh, they think of aquatic scents. Mm -hmm. Again, you'll never hear me talk about Isimiyaki, none of them, none of the flankers. I don't have any of them in my collection because I've tried to give them a chance. So when I think of fresh, I always have to incorporate something kind of earthy in my fresh fragrances or a little bit of woodsy um, touch to my fragrances. So I wanted to include this one because it, it just definitely embodies like everything I would want in a fresh, what I consider to be a fresh fragrance. So this is Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. I lost my top, boo. So I like this one because it is woody. It is citrusy, um, it's earthy, it has, of course, vetiver in it. And everybody doesn't really like vetiver because right. vetiver kind of comes off like a dirty smell to yeah. me. Right. But right. It's, it's like if you're working in your garden, okay, mm -hmm. and you know yeah. you grab that dirt, not mm -hmm. the, yes. not the um, not the dirt, not the fertilizer. Right. Like that. It right. smells like right. boo boo. Dirt, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fertilizer smells like boo boo. We're talking about the actual dirt. Dirty, dirt. <laughs> yes. And so this one also has um, it has a fresh, spicy smell to it. But the main note in it is the is the vetiver for me. But there's other notes. Of course, when you spray it, you get like a citrus that's from grapefruit. In the uh, middle, there's some nutmeg, orris, Cassandra, so you know it's going to dry down powdery, okay? Yes, yes. Um, and in the base, there's vetiver, woody notes, oak moss, and amber. So I like this one really for all year round. And um, I did get this one in the summertime. I want to say, was it last year or the year before last? I can't remember, but it was, it was right around March or April. And I loved it. I started wearing it because to me, it just reminds me of a fresh kind of summertime fragrance for me. But a lot of people probably would not consider this to be fresh, but it's fresh for me. Okay. <laughs> it's fresh for me. And the oak moss in it, it's just a really beautiful fragrance. I don't know if y'all have smelled this one before. It does. No, now it is. I vaguely remember smelling it in uh, when I had went in before. I, I yeah. do. 
It is for men. It says that Tom Ford Gray Vetiver is for men, but y'all know I love a good masculine scent. Me too. Me too. I love a good masculine scent. And um, I just think it's just fresh, like a fresh, earthy, citrusy, woody fragrance. And I love it all year round, anytime, seasonal, whenever. This is now, I do categorize my fragrances per the season. I, I know a lot of people don't do that, but I do like to pull out my summertime fragrances when it's summertime, pull out my wintertime fragrance and so forth. But this is actually one I would wear all year round. Beast mode projection, longevity is amazing. Like people are gonna smell you like from across the room because that's just how this one is coming. It's time for it. So y'all know he ain't gonna play with the projection. Yeah, he's totally beast mode. So I love it. So this is Tom Ford's Gray Vetiver, and y'all can see I have a nice little den in it because I've been working it. I, lo I love this one. But again, I'm a Tom fan Ford of Vetiver. Like oh, because uh, Don, you don't have this one? Y'all love Tom Ford no, over there? No, I don't, but I, no, I don't yet. Well, I've, heard <laughs> yeah, that. I've heard of it. Yeah, it is, yeah I need love this. Tom If Ford, you see so. this one at the cosmetic store, get this one. Take it out. Pick it, it up because y'all will love it. Mm. Yay. I can't That's wait. A, I'm going to look for it. it. Um, like you said, um, Mandy, with bringing out your fragrances i'm a seasonal girl too but then i think that's how that's a good way to really get your fragrances in a rotation in your user because yeah. i know a lot of times um you know we find ourselves gravitating towards those fragrances that you know that we love like we'll just keep spraying and keep spraying and nothing mm -hmm. else so i'm with you with that as far as i'm a seasonal girl and then from time to time even within that season you might feel like something and you'll bring it out and spray it but exactly all right you know to really get your fragrances in a good rotation um that's a good way to do it and then also another way too is planning like for the week like pull out fragrances that you want to wear for that week and that ensures that you know we don't just have you know money on the counter that's just sitting there and we're mm -hmm. actually one of these fragrances that we um that we are bringing to the table so mm -hmm. and also and also, like when we do videos, like I do mm -hmm. different videos, you might see um do beast mode fragrances. Yeah. Don't get the same fragrances out all the time, cause yeah, I just right. bring up I bring a different one out all the time. Y'all don't see me bringing uh the love of my life out. <laughs> you know my love back there that my husband love. Y'all don't hear me bringing the white bit. diamonds. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring that white diamond out. I mean, you know, sometimes I got I got to look over yonder and see. See what Nicki Minaj got over there. What exactly. Say bring it out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. I do like when we when I do different um things on my channel, I yeah. try to bring different stuff. Don't always bring perfumes de Molly out and shit yeah. out all the time. I'm trying to get something else out, you know, so other people know we ain't just got those, we got yeah. other fragrances too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well guys, this last fragrance that I have that I'm bringing to the table, I am going to need a little help from the divas and the rest of everybody on the live in order to make this happen. Okay. All right. Um, need a drum roll. Okay. Here, Cause I'm definitely going to need Gabby here. Okay. Right. Okay. So this next fragrance that I'm bringing to the table, girl, is it's magical, honey. It's magical. She is glamorous. She is going to bring the vibe, and it is by Giorgio Armani, and it is the Privé Shusu. Am I saying that right? Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, blue bottle. Yes, Fortuna, blue bottle. Fortuna. So it's not the it's not the blue bottle. It's gonna be this one right here. It's gonna come like this. Okay, so can you see how clear? Yes. Can you see that? Okay, so ladies, I'm gonna need for you to give me some shimmy. I'm gonna need for you to, to shimmy for me. I'm gonna need for you to shimmy for me. I'm gonna need for the viewers to shimmy for me, cause girl, I'm gonna turn this into some magic. So, okay. okay. Uh oh. Are we fast shimmying or are we slow shimmy? I mean, just shimmy, girl. Just shimmy. <laughs> oh, oh, it's turning colors. Gabby's no, all over the no. place. Look at her work yeah. this floor. Shimmy, girl. Yeah. Shake it, girl. Yeah. Shake it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So now you see. <laughs> yes. I've heard Ooh. of that. That's on my list. Yes, yes, pretty. girl. 
Oh my gosh. That's that oil in it. Oh. That was on my list. Mm. Yeah, I remember Girl. that. Yeah. Let me tell you, that fragrance is absolutely, talk about luxury. And so let me pretty. tell you, I know this video is probably not even doing it justice because it is a nice, soft, pale pink fragrance. That's what it and looks like. In mm -hmm. the fragrance, it is like, it's called the Nacri. It's like a little flake or something. Oh, and it's that's French yeah. for girls. It's, it's, it's what now? Yeah. It's, what you say, Gabby? Nacre means French for pearl. Yes. Pearl. That's exactly oh. what it is. Yes, girl. So, of course, this is a floral fragrance, y'all. It has mandarin in it. There's pink pepper. It's raspberry, rose, mm. amber, musk, and patchouli. Um, right. now, what I do know is that this is the limited edition bottle because Ooh. it does come in a regular where the juice kind of stays the same. It's, it's still the same clear juice. But for whatever reason, the limited edition comes in this pink. It comes with the um, with the nacre, um, um, What is it called? I can't even. The it's a flake or whatever. Whatever it is, like you said, it's it's very pearly. It looks like pink pearl is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It looks like pink pearls, and the top is pink as well. But the original, it just comes with the clear with the black cap. But this right here, oh my God, y'all, when I tell you it is luminous, it is gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's glamorous, it's silky, it's sweet, and it's light, mm. it's clean, it's fresh, Ooh. it's Ooh. elegant. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, and I'm... Mm, I need um, the name again. Skin. It comes oh, in our description. It's in the description box. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. It coats your skin oh. with that little with those little nacre flakes. So your body gets like a little soft shimmer. Girl, especially when you are spraying it over around here, you know, with the little decolleté, honey. And then you have your little shoulders out, girl. And then down your back, honey. Let me tell you, this fragrance right here, I was just like, I could not wait to wear it this summer because I got it toward the end of summer last year. And I thought to myself, oh no, she has to be brought out for the right time in the right season in the right place. And it's <laughs> girl, sexy date night, cool. Like it's just pretty. It's one of those where you just smell like a beautiful, gorgeous, elegant woman. And then you are shimmering, honey. There's like, and it's not mm. like, it's not like shimmer glitter. It's not glitter. No, right. it's like right. a nice little sheen shimmer. It's almost as if like you're glowing. That's what I get from it. It is good. Oh it's my God. Pretty. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I love that. Honey, it is like, it's one of those fragrances. Like if you are, it's definitely a girly girl. Like if you, you know what? There are different, there are certain fragrances, you know, kind of like the perfumes, Demario, like Delina and all that. Like mm -hmm. they're just girly. This right here is girly to the next level. Like it is gorgeous. And the smell is absolutely amazing. It smells so light and clean, but it's fresh, but it's fruity and it's sweet, like all of that together. And then, of course, even just shaking the bottle and getting all of that. Um, oh, my God. It looks like marble, just marbleized mm. juice in here. It is. Y'all, let me tell you. I need for him to take me somewhere so I can put this over my whole entire body, girl. I want my knees to glitter. I want my, my 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 everything. Lower back, part of the back, all of the back. <laughs> so how long does it last? Somebody um, asked about the longevity. Yeah, as far as the lasting power, I would say with it because it is light and fruity, I get like maybe about four hours with me just really spraying it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like just really spray it because it's still a nice soft scent, but it does. You are going to people are going to smell you like it's not beast mode pre the vintage, but people are going to smell you if that if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There are some fragrances that they're not in your face, but they do have that scent bubble. And when people come around you, they are going to want to know what is that that you are wearing? What what is that? Because it smells so stinking good 
Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And where did you get yours from? Where did you get yours from? I got mine from um I got it from Neiman Marcus. That's where I got it from. But I don't I don't know. Um I haven't seen it there in a while. Um because I know just the original is in there. And I know when they bring this one out, like I said, it was a limited edition. So I don't know where it is now because it was a limited edition. Mm. Oh, yeah. So it might not be available. I mean, they have the one that that the other one like that. But yes, because that's it doesn't, it doesn't shimmer. Black top. It yes, it has the black top, but this yeah, one, okay. top, that's, that's the one that you want. Um, right that will be it for the night. girl. That whole everything. Oh my God. I, I put the name. It's already mm-hmm. in the description and I type it in for it. Yeah, it smells good. Mm. Okay. My last fragrance. Last fragrance. Mm-hmm. And this is Roberto Cavalli. Give me this so. Give me D. Give me D. You know, um, uh, what's the name? She loved this fragrance. That's all she talks about. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, is- Chantel. Remember Chantel? No, yeah. Give me D. Give me yeah. D. She always talk about this fragrance. And child, so she was the reason I purchased it because she always talking about it. But as y'all can see, I have been spraying it. Mm. Mm. And it's kind of aquatic to me, too. It's definitely has that jasmine and that vanilla in it, and it is woody, and it is fruity, sweet, amber, and the dry down is definitely powdery. Mm, mm -mm. Does it smell like good girl? No. She said. (laughs) Now that you said that, it smells like good girl. And we talking about good girl by Carolina Herrera, not good girl by Killian. I know who yeah. you're talking about. Let me let me spray it again. Um, we're going to the next person, and I'm gonna put my good girl off, and I'm gonna see because somebody said it smelled like good girl. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, while she's pulling down her bottle to see if it really smells like that, I brought what I thought would be another fresh, <laughs> clean fragrance, which is Narciso. And this Ooh. is musky, rose, woody, woody, powdery, white floor, um, arom- aromatic, vanilla, sweet, <laughs> amber, and it's and it's fresh. So, I mean, I don't have a lot to say about it because I don't wear it my, that much. This is an EDT. I don't, I just don't wear it that much. I think it's because for me, it's too powdery. This mm. would be more on Cassandra's line of I like this fragrance kind of bottle, but mm. it does smell good. It smells really good. I do like it. I just don't reach for it. I think it's too powdery for me. So if you like a powdery fragrance, yeah. this one's probably for you. But to me, powdery is also fresh. Fresh and clean would be powdery. And so that's that's mm-hmm. this, I think. I think. Mm. How's Cassandra doing on her comparison over there? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is it? Does it? It does. <laughs> really? <laughs> Girl. Have you tried it, Joan? When I tell you guys, y'all need to believe me. When I tell y'all, I be up late at night watching all of y'all videos. Uh, <laughs> I may not comment on all the videos, but I am watching. Thank I am. I'm like. I'm like the. Uh, I'm like the. Uh, the cloud. You wa- I'm watching everything. I'm in the. I'm the algorithm. I'm watching every. And I cannot tell you who said that, but um, yeah, I watched the video. Came to. I can't remember, but she said it smells just like good girl. So I was because it's on on my list actually, and I was like, well, if it smells like good girl, it just don't make sense for me to it buy it. It does. I didn't know that. Yeah. Thank you wow. Wow. So wait, on a scale of one to ten, how what? much does it smell like good girl? It got to be a team. Nine. An, okay. Oh, my nine. gosh. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. I mean, what? what? <laughs> See, because I don't spray my good girl to every wow. moon. <laughs> well, let's go. Wow. Ooh. No wonder I like it. 
Because you already had it. You already yeah. had it, yeah. You know what? I think that's why I'm like real selective mm. of what I put in my collection because yeah. I honestly just don't want a lot of redundant. Like, I, I, I don't, don't need them. Yeah. yeah. And so <laughs> it. I might, I might get real with eat. a fragrance for, for for years before I add it in. Both, I <laughs> both of them. Woo! Yeah, if you like good yeah. girl, then you can't go wrong with either one because they yeah. both smell the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess what it probably would come down to is longevity and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And price wise. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, price wise. I don't even know. How, well, you can get Good Girl in in all the discount stores now. Yeah, yeah. but you can't. Yeah. You can't get yeah. another one though. Yeah. And then too, I that would know. be a factor too, because you, which one can you get your hands on? Um, you know, um, mm -hmm. like I said, mm -hmm. yeah. Because that Roberta Cavalli, you're definitely gonna have to order it online. At yes, least I don't see girl. any Roberta yeah, Cavalli fragrance. No, no. because people don't start once. Um, Chantel started talking about this fragrance. Everybody started purchasing it. And so they don't even have this at Fragrance Buy. They don't have it as Fragrance Net no more. No I mean, you got to um you got to probably go to eBay somewhere to get this now. Wow. Yeah. And see, that's what I'm saying. We yeah. always telling people how good this stuff is, and then they go get it, and we ain't getting no props or nothing for it. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm talking about the store, you know, fragrance net, they still getting, you know, the money and stuff for it. We need to start getting some. Or we just gonna have to start not saying where we get it from. You know what I'm just saying? Got it from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got it from somewhere. Just look. <laughs> right. Well, so we're back on me again. So my last break my last fragrance is by oh. Lush. Lush. Because I am a lush. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, as she says, drinking the gin. Mm. Oh, is that what you're drinking, gin? Oh yes. Gin, so. make, gin make you sin, child. <laughs> so, I thought it was Kool-Aid. <laughs> no, no, no. I I I can't imagine stuff. her drinking no Kool-Aid. Mm, I guess it's, it's, it's pink gin. So <laughs> We have by Lush, we have love, 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 oh, love, 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 because this fragrance I wore last year when we were on holiday. I bought it last year when we were in Scotland. Have any of you been to Scotland? I haven't. Right. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely country. I've moved there in a heartbeat, but we um, bought it from a Lush store and it's, well, Cassandra, this is your name all over it because Ooh. it is just bergamot, 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 bergamot. <laughs> and with a little bit of ylang ylang to give it a bit of brightness and a tiny, tiny bit of vanilla, okay. tiny little bit of vanilla in there. But it's the it's happy, it's happy. And I read a review on Lush's website, and this couple actually wore this same fragrance on their wedding day, which I think mm -hmm. was quite a nice little story. I think mm -hmm. so. You know, it's I, I think yeah, and I just love it. It's happiness, it's happiness, and it makes mm -hmm. me feel happy. It's a very good antidepressant. This fragrance as well, which I, I love. I love Lush fragrances. I love them. So, yeah, yes, Tanisha, lush, lush, lust is good, but, <laughs> lush, that's, lust. That's, but that's not a fresh fragrance. Lush, lust <laughs> is a jasmine bomb. Jasmine no. bomb. Lush, lush. Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Jasmine. Yeah. There we go. So, bon, alors c'est fini, mes petits enfants. Well, si. Allez-vous <laughs> Oui. That's it. That's all later. All right. All right. As they say in the cartoons, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies. I just want to say to the audience, thank y'all for joining us. We really do appreciate it. We are nothing without you all, and we are so happy that you all joined us this evening. And uh, please don't forget, if you are not subscribed to all the ladies on the panel, please go and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And also, please give everybody a thumbs up. 
on their channel as well as on this live. And you all will not see me next week doing no lives or nothing. Uh, next week, next Wednesday, is my 32nd wedding anniversary. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. Uh, anniversary. Yes. 32 years married, 42 years together. So what we going to do, we don't know because, you know, things just start opening up. And we really planning on a big trip next year. So this year, we're going to just get in the car and just drive. Wherever we end up at, that's, that's where, where you go. go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just want to y'all to know when y'all don't see no um live coming up or nothing like that from me, it will be because I'm celebrating my anniversary. And I know you're going to smell amazing. <laughs> you know I'm gonna smell amazing. Y'all see those yeah. calls? I already got my 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 gifts. So <laughs> you know I'm gonna be smelling good. Mm -hmm. and I have about two weeks too, and, and I'm not gonna throw them off my head. I might. I was gonna ask you if you was gonna throw your wigs in the car. Uh, I might not throw it in the car, but you know, I'm gonna throw them. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I just wanted y'all to know that I am celebrating my anniversary. Aww. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks, Don. Don. He gave her a super chat. Yeah, he She's gave saying Don, yeah. not Dawn. <laughs> Don. Don. Yeah, I know it sounds like Don, but Don yeah, knows. It sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lovely. But I call Don Sissy. So yeah, she she knows. <laughs> so is that it? We're done. Yes, we we're done. done. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's go get us some supper or lunch, wherever it is in your situation. We haven't eaten yet today either, have we? we haven't either. I haven't eaten. I got yeah, me. I got to make. I got to make. Yeah, we need some lunch. So I everybody, did. thank you for coming. We'll see you thank next you time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.